My name is Bill Betts, and I'm the vice president here at Betts Company, our sixth generation family business. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Joe Devaney, our operations manager. He's gonna take a couple minutes to introduce us to the differences between hot winding and cold winding springs. Bet spring manufacturing is unique in our ability to manufacture cold wound coil springs, hot wound coil springs, as well as leaf springs that serve a broad range of markets. They include the automotive aftermarket, food processing, agricultural, commercial vehicle, and government and defense. Our cold winding process starts with pre-tempered material. We pull the material through rollers and fulcrum pins and coiled around a precision ground arbor. Our material diameters range between an eighth inch and five eighths of an inch. Using high tensile chrome silicon will allow you to design a lighter weight spring, resulting in more travel and more deflection for the application. A cold wound spring will typically be a little lighter in weight and use a smaller material diameter than a hot wound spring. Cold winding will also allow you to use a variety of material types versus hot coiling. The ability to use high tensile chrome silicon materials helps cut weight and allow for more deflection or travel in smaller space. Cold winding springs will typically be used for smaller applications ranging in material diameter from eighth inch to five eighths inch versus hot winding, which will be for larger applications that will range between half inch and one and three quarter inch in material diameter. Whether using the cold wound coiling process or the hot wound coiling process, our engineers will design a spring that meets your needs. Depending on our customer's application, Betts has the ability to coil hot wound springs ranging from half inch to one and three quarter inch in bar diameter. Our hot wound coiling system uses an energy efficient, drastically low emission walking beam furnace to heat our bars up to 1750 degrees Fahrenheit. Our spring material will move through our walking beam furnace in a consistent and automated manner. Our hot wound coiling process can be used for a variety of applications. We use four steps to manufacture our hot wound coil springs. In the first step, we're going to heat the bar up to 1750 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we'll coil the heated bar around a fixed mandrel. Then we'll quench the spring in a quenching oil. And finally, the spring will be placed in a tempering furnace. Only with perfect control of all four of those processes can we manufacture the perfect spring. At Betts, we're focused on continuous improvement and assuring that we deliver our customers a quality part on time and within their budget. Thanks for watching our video today. You can learn more about us by going to our website at Betts1868.com. Take care.